Hey guys, Pete Klein here. This is episode 3 on how to code a Java Discord API bot. In this video, we'll be doing a rate me command. So let's get right into this video. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to replace this slash command receive class with separate classes for our commands or slash commands. Reason being is because of um it would just be more tidy than having a whole bunch of things in one area so let's create a new package and call it slash command now one thing that we can do is we can drag this server and then after we can rename this to ping command refractor okay i did I didn't um <laughs> okay so let's delete this and now set slash command receive we're just gonna switch this out to ping command rename file this would be ping command and let's delete that there we go okay so now let's add in the command like what we did with the ping command. So to do this, we just need to do jda.upsert command. Now the name of it is going to be rate me. The description, rate yourself on a scale to 0 out of 100. Now we're going to set the required to false just so then they could either rate themselves or rate someone else depending on what they would like to do now we need to add a option oh apparently we're getting a error upsert command Sorry about this. Let me just. Oh, okay. I guess there isn't so right. Right. I I was not thinking. So add option option type dot mentionable. I was getting a little ahead of myself. So mention rates. Someone you mentioned. And now this part is where it's false. For some reason, I was thinking the upsert command was where it's at, but yeah. <laughs> Brain's just not thinking properly. It's 11 p.m. for me. <laughs> uh, okay, so since we have this done, we can now open our slash command folder. And now let's copy our ping command. Now let's just change the server to rate me now the name would be rate me right there let's remove this now what we're going to do is int rating is equals to math.floor now we're going to do math.random times 101 now it's going to require us to cast it to a int yep just because it tries returning as a double. So math.random, it's going to give us a random number from 0 to 1 in decimals. And then we're just timesing it by like 101. And so, yeah, it could be within any of that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do if event dot get options so we're getting the list of all the options that we can do now we're going to get the size if that is greater than zero that means that um the command is mentioning someone well else that would mean the command is directed towards the user 
I'll just add those comments in. So then, yeah. So let's do the directed towards the user first. So event dot reply. Now let's just do I would rate you a, and then rate a plus out of a hundred. Uh, dot set empical or whatever. Can't pronounce it because yep. Uh, now let's do dot q. So this will make sure that's visible for everyone. If we change that to true, only the person who did the command would see it. But what's the fun in that, right? So now we're going to do something kind of like it, but a little bit different. So event.reply, I would rate. Now we just need to do events.get option. The name of it would be mention dot get as member dot get user dot get name. So that will get the player's name or like the mentioned name. So I'd rate the mention name a uh, and then we do rating plus out of a hundred. Let's just do the exact same thing we did on the other thing. There we go. So now we just have the two different strings. And yeah. Let's just quickly go over everything that's happening here. So this is getting the slash command interaction event. So when someone does a slash command, it checks if the slash command is from a bot. If it is, to just not check it. What's then happening is it's checking if the slash command is equals to rate me. And if that's the case, we're then creating a random number between 0 and 101. And then what we're doing here is we're checking all of the options that's in the events. And we're going to check how big it is. And if it's greater than zero, that means that we would have a mention, and that would mean that, yeah, we could just use the option, like get option mention. Well, if it's at zero, it would go under this alt statement, and it would try rating just the user itself. Now, we need to make sure to add the event listener, or else the entire thing won't run. So, jda dot add event listener new then rate me command. There we go. So now, if I rerun my bot, this should go and work now. We're going to get some few errors. That always happens with JDA. But um, if I now do slash rate me. There we go. I'd rate you a 7 out of 10. Let's do it again. Possibly see if I get a better rating. A 66. Alrighty. Now let's try rating the bot. I could even rate at everyone. But yeah, that'll break. Yeah. Um... How would we fix this? I guess maybe if we do option type dot user, that would probably fix it. Uh, let's see here. Rate me. Oh. Okay. Uh. I'll pause the recording for a quick second until this gets, like, updated. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. So after waiting a few minutes, it allows just the mentions, or, like, for members, without any of the roles. So if I just try that out, it would then be out rate tutorial bot a 63 out of 100. And if I do it again, of course, oh, 65, ooh, okay, a little bit better. But, um, yeah, this would be it for this episode.
I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm sorry for not uploading recently. I just haven't really felt bothered to. And yeah, been working on other projects. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.